Chances are you take part in some kind of art, whether it be music or movies, paintings, or writing a script for a YouTube video that you spent way too long on. Chances are you like music. Everyone does. Some people have different tastes, but at the end of the day, we all enjoy some form of music. Now, if there is good art, then there has to be bad art, you know, yin and yang type stuff. But that begs the question, what is bad art? All right, when I started this video, I thought bad art was art that failed to deliver a message. If you have a beautiful story behind a song, but no one can interpret it, then that's bad art. That's what I thought. But after doing a lot of research, I discovered that art is so much more complicated to explain than I thought. The truth is, I don't know what I would say bad art is. Okay, how about this? Let's look at some examples of bad art and then I'll come back to this later. Let's start with critics' favorite public urinal, Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock was a painter and writer known for his abstract and outlandish style. Most of the time, these paintings look like things I did in art class in the third grade. However, that's personal preference. On November 2nd, 2006, Pollock's number no. 5, 1948, became the world's most expensive painting when it was sold privately to an undisclosed buyer for the sum of $140 million with a, with a zero at the end, $140 million. That is a ridiculous amount. Of, that's like super villain levels of money for one painting. Now, if good art's supposed to have a meaning, then this painting has as much meaning as paying for WinRAR. Okay, though, let's be fair. Let's say that someone at some point saw meaning in this painting, even if Pollock didn't put some meaning into it to begin with. That would mean it's good art to that person. But <laughs> that can't be, right? We are both looking at this, and chances are most of you don't like as much as I do. So how could it be good if most people dislike it? I would say good art is something that I, as the consumer, can derive some kind of meaning from. If I can get meaning out of it, it is good art. Now, that being said, art is the most subjective thing of all time, so take that with a grain of salt. Let's take a look at some examples of good art. Look at this self-portrait. Nothing really special. It's okay. Not anything groundbreaking. Now, look at this painting. It's eerie and kind of creepy, but again, nothing groundbreaking. Both of those paintings were done by a man named William Utermelon, a painter who was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. He did many self-portraits over the years, as his Alzheimer's progressively got worse over the years. Now, these images on their own don't convey a lot, but together with the knowledge of the backstory, they combine to make a beautiful example of how dementia can decay people's perceptions of themselves. So, here we are. The part where I say, modern art is crap, and that the Beatles were the peak of music. Except, I would be lying to say that. The truth is, art is so much harder to explain than we could ever imagine. The best definition for art I've ever heard is that art is the language of your soul. So, if your art doesn't speak the language of your soul well, that's bad art. And if there isn't anything to be said at all, then it's not art, it's just paint on a canvas. Music